something about everyone that I don't like. Like, I feel like we should say something else. Like, have a nickname? Yeah. Like, <laughs> beans? Okay, beans. Hey, beans! <laughs> okay, cool. So, today we are going to Gregory's, Gregory's Coffee. Coffee. I've never been there before. Me either. But this is a special episode because on October 3rd it's Mean Girls Day. So they're doing a special um, Mean Girls inspired latte and I guess there's going to be some sort of donut I guess. So we'll see how it works out. But you have to wear pink. Oh yeah. Yes. We're all wearing pink. I have pink. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have pink pants on. So we'll see how it goes and we'll let you know. <laughs> Um, we have a really special episode today because today is National Mean Girls Day! On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. That's right. Today we are celebrating all things Mean Girls. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below, like and comment, and follow us on Instagram at coffeebreakersnyc. So Mean Girls, you know, took the Broadway stage about a year ago, and, you know, in commemoration of that, October 3rd, a lot of New York hotspots are doing some special deals. And so we went to Gregory's Coffee to go and check it out. So what did we get? What did you get, Lex? Well, I guess we should start off with the fact that Gregory's wrote on the Mean Girls website that they would be having special lattes and donuts for Mean Girls themed. And we get there dressed in pink, and of course, they have no idea what we're talking about. Yeah, we asked the guy and he was like, um... Yeah, it's not McDonald's, but there's like no McDonald's. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, that's good. And there wasn't a special inspired latte, like it said online. It was really disappointing because we all wore pink and got really excited. It was also a little embarrassing. It was a little embarrassing. So that part flopped, but we figured we'll just still try the coffee and review Gregory's coffee as well. Last time we rated a lot of factors. We tried to narrow it down and come up with the four factors that we thought were the most important. So that includes the taste, the ambiance of the coffee shop, the presentation of the order, and then our overall score. Um, so Olive, take it away. What do you think? I just got just the regular coffee, black coffee. And honestly, it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I made the taste to like a seven. It was good, it wasn't great. Like I could probably get it anywhere, but with the disappointment of not getting like the Mean Girl special, like I wasn't yeah. disappointed with what I got. Okay, Lex, what do you think? <laughs> so I got an iced caramel latte with oat milk because my specific genre is now lattes. It was actually really good. Like Olive said, it was it was hard to like so much because I was mad yeah. <laughs> that they kind of failed us a little bit, but the taste was really good. And honestly, as much as I love Dunkin', this iced caramel latte, I think really, it was pretty close. Wow. <laughs> like wow. one of my wow. top competitions. Definitely. So I think I have to give it, I'll give it an 8.5. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, I got one of their specialty drinks and it was called Hall and Oats which I got mostly based on the idea that I love the duo of <laughs> Um But it was a cold brew coffee with um, vanilla, cinnamon, and oat milk. So it was definitely something I hadn't tried before, really unique. Um, I didn't love the taste. It was okay, it was something new. I wouldn't get it again, and I would probably rate it like four out of 10. Aww. Yeah. Well, she also had a lot of ice in her. Oh yeah, yeah. it was filled like, mostly with ice. Like when I put the straw in, I couldn't even push it in because it was filled all over with ice. There was like hardly any drink. Really disappointing, especially after the Mean Girls thing. Right, yeah. Alright, what's the next topic? So next is presentation. Um, not great. No. <laughs> Again, takeout cups yeah. for hot and ice drinks. We were sitting there in the cafe and they also had mugs on display. Yeah, so that, that was a good use. Pictured here. So I was kind of disappointed with that. I would have liked to mind something a little bit more. Alright, so what's your reason? Oh, I'm, 
that you've been into. Oh. I would give it a 3 out of 10 oh. just because, like you said, it was really sleek. Yeah, I'd probably give it a 4 because I wasn't oh. mad about it. Um, it's also Midtown, it's a very busy area, so maybe they yeah. just don't really assume people would want to stay and have a cup of coffee. Now we're going to talk about the ambience of the coffee shop. So, personally, I thought it looked a lot bigger on the outside than the inside, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. for some reason, where they made the coffee was like twice as big as like where people like could sit. But I really like the lights that hung from the roof. Yeah. It was very aesthetic. I really liked it. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it just wasn't a lot of scenery. area. Again, it's in Midtown, so I get it. Alright, what's your score? Yeah. I give it like a five. Yeah, I give it a four. I'm giving it a four too. <laughs> so, for my overall rating, I'm going to give it a six out of ten. My drink was really good, but everything else was not working for Gregory's. I don't think I'd go back. It was okay, it was fun to do once. I'd probably give it a four, nothing really amazed me, except for the to go cups are kind of sleep. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, I can I agree with what's um, even though, you know, we went for this promotion and, you know, for Mean Girls Day, so yeah. iconic, and we didn't get that, it was kind of disappointing, but I wasn't really mad about my overall experience. I thought it was good, it was a fun place, you know, it's in Midtown, so it was kind of busy, but I had a good time, and I enjoyed my good time. So what are we giving it? A thumbs up, a thumbs down, or a thumbs up? Oh, we give it a thumbs up. I think it's something people can try and make yeah. like if you're stopping for a quick cup of coffee, but it's it's not a necessity. So we have a couple more places planned, but we always let our open suggestions and we want to hear where you guys want to see us go and if you have any recommendations. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Coffee Breakers NYC. Thanks for watching. Uh, that was pretty fast, guys. That was pretty good. Thank <laughs> you.